We're, we're successful. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. I know, can you believe this? Okay, we're running around, it's Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, can I sweep the, the, the little bear like that? Okay, not not everybody likes bears, but you know what, they are especially cute. Or chocolates, or whatever okay. you do. Okay, here's a good one, folks. The bear belongs to the grump that won't let us turn the heat up in this building. Oh, yeah. I know, but it happens to Valentine's Day. Here's my favorite thing, is wear a dress by single, and you won't be single no longer. No, not to wear that a lot. Yeah. I know. I just got ninety dresses for Oscar Week. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. I guess we do have news. And We're it's all over Canada. for the Republicans. Oh well, yeah. I mean, Marco Rubio is in. They said that they're sending. Uh, the Democratic Party was actually sending things out to people, which they couldn't figure out why they were being sent to things, saying that that. Uh, Rubio's career is over, and that like that he should resign from the Senate after his disgraceful performance. I mean that that's all they could talk about. All the Democratic Party they couldn't okay they can't support Obama's plans. None of them because there's going to be revenue new. He's spending eight hundred billion dollars, but it's not going to cost the taxpayer a penny. That's eight hundred billion, but it won't cost you a penny. They couldn't talk about that. They can't talk about gun control. His, if he supports immigration, the immigration plan is dead. They've all agreed to that. And uh, everything that he said, oh, he wants preschool. He wants the United States government to, it's not going to cost the people anything, but the government's going to fund a preschool program for, you know, for four-year-olds upwards until they get there now, which is going to make them better citizens. They're going to be more responsible. They're going to be more better educated. And I was listening to a Democrat last night talking, <laughs> yeah, it might, but, might, but the reason why we send our children to kindergarten is because until they get to be that age, they're unmanageable hooligans, and you're going to teach my four-year-old to be a responsible, more intelligent person? He said their idea of responsibility is pouring the, the whatever they got to drink on their sister's head. Mm -hmm. And the sister then beating the hell out of their brother for doing it. That, so she thought that was funny, that Obama's idea. We're going to create a more responsible, intelligent base by starting with four years. And Hugh Jackman denies gay rumors. Oh, they said that Jackman is an example. It doesn't make any difference that he's married and have children. They're demanding he come out and they're outing him. Well, uh, they're, they're, they're on the verge of why? destroying Hugh Jackman's career because he won't admit he's gay. There's a, there's a thought in the world universe right now that everything that is being done to, the, to um, R.J. Wagner is because Robert Wagner, Robert Johann, folks. It's actually Robert Johann Wagner, not Wagner. Does that name sound like German? But the, because he refuses to admit that he's gay, so they're trying to destroy his life. Because this is how it works in the gay rights movement. If you won't come out, they destroy you. Oh, it, and it's the people from the people that are gay that get mad at the people that are not openly gay. That's right. If you don't, if you're not openly gay, you they will destroy you. It doesn't make any difference if you are. If you make a mistake of playing gay, I'm I'm surprised that Colin Farrell's life isn't totally destroyed, because he's had a nasty habit of playing gay people. Okay, you want to be gay? Don't be gay in Hollywood because it's a career killer in this town. And they said, well, but this is where they support it. They if, okay, go ask uh, Matt Damon, who basically said, was it a really good movie about Liberace, how difficult it is um, to get this town to do anything with a gay thing? Well, and part of it is, uh, the, the, the challenge is because the, the films that they make, they want to sell them internationally. Gay is not acceptable. And outside so, of the United States. And that's States. the difficult part. And therefore, you cannot It's, it's like any, a business decision. They don't want, okay... The, okay, the way it works is when I was young, every they, they were gay actors all over the place. They made no, they did not even try to hide that they were gay, but what they would did, they did over gay. I mean, you know, they would be more flamboyant. They would over exaggerate everybody, so people thought, well, big deal. So what now, though, is they're, they're, they're you know, they're, it's a militant unit, and they're trying to destroy everybody that they think is gay and not coming out. Poisoned lotto winner's brother sought more tests. Oh yeah, and that's something. The guy, his brother knew that he was somebody killed his brother over the lottery winnings, which I don't understand because you can't you can't leave the winnings to anybody other than someone you're married to. 
So therefore, if you kill somebody for the money, why? It's worthless. It's yeah. just like, you know, that they just found out that the, that, there, that the Los Angeles Police Department, if you accidentally cook the guy who may have actually been cooked or not, we'll never know, uh, don't have, didn't have to pay out the money from the people that told people where he was at because it says for arrest and conviction only. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing how they do that? Mm -hmm. New York fund manager arrested on Ponzi scheme charges. Obama's after everyone at the moment. If you, he doesn't want, he basically want to destroy hedge funds, uh, all of these uh, business managers, he hates these people because he said they're responsible for everything. Of course, he has, he's involved in a hedge fund. The guy, Ch Lou, was involved with a hedge fund. All these people that are working for him are involved with hedge funds. No, it's not my hedge fund manager that's bad. Mm -hmm. And it's not my cabinet's hedge fund manager is bad. It's because we're intelligent people and we know what to do. It's the other people's hedge fund manager. A lot of hedge fund managers are going to jail for doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, which is why the Supreme Court almost always throws out the convictions that the, that the government gets on these people on Wall Street. Because it, and if your job is to tell people about what's going on inside, it is not insider trading, it is doing your job. Ah, uh, disabled cruise ship now being towed to Alabama. Yeah, I mean, the, the cruise line industry is really just having one black eye after another, after another. First of all, what happened is, is that they lost power. When they lost power, it seemed they didn't have enough backup system. They couldn't even keep the toilets operating. What? Remember, uh, the bigger the ship, the more it depends upon power to keep the toilets working because it's not like they used to just flush people oh. straight out the ocean. Now they go into recycling tanks and they recycle everything they possibly can. Well, and you think about how many people are on that ship and how many... Yep, oh. and the toilets all... They said the place stinks like... Said it's oh just like my you were in a stockyard now because the toilets do not... You can't do anything. When the toilets don't flush, the toilets don't flush. Going once, going twice, Twinkies cleared for auction. Yeah, and uh, they're, they, 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 immediately the Baker's Union put the hostess company out of business. They're still trying to order the hostess company to go back to work. They have, they are, they're bargaining in bad faith. The company's gone. They closed the company down because the Baker's, okay, put it, the Teachers uh, Union, every union agreed to things because they knew the President of the United States has hostess at the top of their list for going after. Yeah, it's, I'm just disgusted. And they put it out because they demanded pay raises when other people were just trying to keep their jobs. Uh -huh. And so the, basically the courts, which are very liberal and favor unions, basically said enough is enough. The agreement had been reached with everyone else but the Baker's Union. Baker's Union said no. So now it's being sold to non-union companies. The company, uh -huh. I mean the Twinkies and the Cupcakes, they're all going to exist, but they're no longer going to be made by union people or carried on union trucks. Mm -hmm. That's what a union did. Yeah, yep. So guess what happens? Yep. But we can still get our Twinkies. Yeah. That well, makes me happy. I like, those. I like <laughs> Twinkies. I also like Ho-Ho's well, like ho -ho and Ding Dongs. And <laughs> I, I love Ho-Ho's and Ding Dongs. <laughs> I know. Where did they come up with those names? Somebody had kids when they named those, oh, didn't yeah. they? I, like, uh, I, 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 I did on, in a movie, I sang, you know, and they wham and they wham all over the dam. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that was, and, they, and they said, where did Hoagie Carmichael come up with that song? And he's basically feeding food to his kid, and then, and then da, da. They, then they knew how he got the dog. So. And teen births continue to decline in the U.S. Yeah, because we have, I think, like they're very proud of the fact there have been 45 million abortions. If you can get rid of the kids, you don't have a high birth rate. Mm -hmm. And North, he's slowly recovering from blizzard. Don't worry, folks. We got another head in their way. You know, I want to tell people. Oh, you know what P.S. the Bull says? He said, it's a normal weather system. And the, what happens is the weather has been warmer. You know what happens when you have warmer? All of a sudden, when the normal weather comes back, it's got awful horrible in Buffalo this time of the oh. year and in Albany, New York, and in New England states. That's why people don't try to live there. Ah, oh. Three killed in California helicopter crash while filming a reality show. And they're still refusing to tell people what reality show they were filming. Oh my God! It's been, it's been several days now and they're still refusing to tell you. What reality show were they working on that the helicopter crashed? Oh, now this one. <laughs> I'm just like... Okay, we're going to put it this way. 
Reality shows are god awful scripted, which is why they give Emmys for them. No, but this next one, I'm just like Washington Post, fooled by fake story of Sarah Palin joining Al Jazeera. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, okay, it, 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 it's okay. They, and there's a, there's oh. a second one. There's another one. She's posing for Playboy magazine to pay her bills. The left are just going all over that because all you have to do, if they said pay, Sarah Palin makes porn flick. They won't even bother to check. They just put it up. I mean, and it's just like it's true. because they they when it comes to. I mean, this is just like they don't care anymore. They just there's no journalistic integrity. Okay, she was present the day journalism died. There was a day Michael Jackson died, and, and entertainment then took over journalism. Now they think it's a good. We got a scandal. She's joining an Arab thing, or she's posing for Playboy, I mean, or she's making porn. What flicks. happened? I mean. Like publicly, what happened to fact checking on something like that? Not anymore. They don't oh do it gosh. because they, they, uh, they, they carry the story and then they all they have to do is apologize and some little thing hit the fact that nobody sees it. They no longer care. It's just a, it's it's basically scorched earth politics when it comes with the left. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, when the operating system of your computer continually goes down on you. And there is a new operating system that is available for the same people. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what's being done since you give access to your computer to the people who put the operating system on it to begin with. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm, that's <laughs>